Well, it's a good day today because we're able to be together to share with some people, perhaps in the future, about our ministry and what we do. And uh, we involve ourselves in something called discernment ministry, where we take the Christian faith as it is testified to in Scripture, and we compare it to what is going on in the world today, especially in the church. And what we see today is a corruption that is occurring of the Christian faith, and it's happening because of the intrusion upon New Age system beliefs upon the Christian faith. It's happening because of modern science's influence upon the Christian faith, especially in the area of quantum physics, and it's happening because of something that's developed called science fiction. And science fiction, of course, is fiction. And so this fiction actually is a kind of uh, fables that influences what people believe and how they see the world. Uh, we call the world reality. What's your reality? It's the world we live in and where we're at and why we do what we do. And uh, we see that this is happening to the Church of Jesus Christ, that uh, the church is being seduced uh, and spoiled, I should say, taken captive by these things that are extraneous to the Christian faith. Uh, Paul writes in Colossians, uh, see to it that no one takes you captive. And the picture there to the recipients of this epistle was of a ancient civilization being taken captive by invading enemies. It wasn't a pretty sight. When uh, invaders came in and took captive the people that they warred against, it was quite ugly and quite, uh, I would say, life-threatening. And so Paul is saying, beware lest any man take you captive through philosophy. Philosophy is uh, love of wisdom. Uh, through philosophy and empty deception, uh, according to the tradition of men, in other words, these things don't originate with God, they originate with men, and finally, after or according to the rudiments of the world. Now, this is a very interesting word and crucial to understand in the way that this so-called science, this so-called knowledge, this New Age philosophy, uh, science fiction is working on the Christian faith and changing the Christian faith and changing how people view the Christian faith because it speaks of things that are thoroughly married to the environment in which we live, whether that environment is out there or down here or wherever. You're immediately introduced into the paranormal. You're introduced into those things that are quite phenomenal but have nothing whatever to do with Jesus Christ. And that's what's going on in the church today. And uh, we're here to talk about that. So some of you may become alerted to what's going on. The way that science fiction is affecting what people believe, the way that uh, science is changing what people believe, and also the way in which New Age philosophy is changing what we believe, or the Christian church, what they believe. and the, I would say, synthesis of all of this really creates a faith that is incomprehensible when compared to the biblical text. And so I'm here with my two friends, uh, Gaylene Goodroad and, and Sarah. We're here to talk about these things. I'm Pastor Larry D. Bryan, and uh, we're going to have a discussion about it and allow you to listen in.